and welcome back to Terra Firmacraft. I think I figured out the issue with silver. So I got a bunch of that silver last time. And I think you have to put it in here. I think you have to put it in the forge. Because I was trying to melt it down in the ceramic pot. And it wouldn't melt using a pit kiln. So let's try this. And I also looked it up online. And I was very grateful to see that these melt down. Each flake is 10. Each clump, I guess, would be 100. So I guess we're going to see here in just a minute. But while that's going, let me just... Um, so I um, decided it would be a good idea to move all my ores over to the new blacksmith shop. So that's what I've been doing as well. It's getting all my ores back into this chest here. I went ahead and cooked up some meat last time to get my sandwich shop operational again. So that's good. Okay, that's open. Let's take a look. Hopefully I'm not burning. Okay, faint red, dark red. I don't even know what to do. Um, this is such a weird mechanic. Like, I don't even know what to do with it. If I take take it out, can I put it in this mold? Like, I don't even know. And it doesn't say workable or weldable, so I'm like very concerned that I'm gonna break it. Can I just I don't even know what to do with it. Oh. It automatically goes into there. Oh, neat. I did not know you could do that. So, I guess you can just put those. Boy, though, that's getting really hot. So, let's see what happens here. I just don't know what I'm doing, guys. I'm so li I'm so lost, but that's okay. I mean, I'll just keep experimenting until I get it right. Although I don't want to waste a whole bunch of like molds cuz these it's like one out of 100. And I don't know if that m if that's good or bad or what, but let's see what happens with these before I put any other molds in there cuz I don't want to waste all my molds if it's going to be like one out of 100. Going to need how to figure out how to stack them up. Can I do this? Right click to pour or combine? What does that mean? I don't even know what that means. Let me try that. And it might be, see with these clumps it might be easier. Of course, they might just give me 10. I have the feeling that the wiki is wrong. I have the feeling that I have 108 units total, which means I'm only going to fill one unshaped ingot thing. But anyway, I'm going to experiment with this off camera, and I will join it. I will pick it up once I figure out what the hell I'm doing. Welcome back to Terra Firmacraft. So, off camera, I was doing just a hell of a lot of caving, and I don't know if I can show you this, but... Well, here's my main area. Now, here's where that saltpeter mine was. I came down here, and I found a whole bunch of goodies. I found some some copper. I found some um, um, hematite, and I found this cinnabar. And I was just starting to mine it, and it collapsed a little bit. But I wanted to bring you in before I got too carried away, because cinnabar is great because it's redstone. So if you go like this... Well, I think you have to use the corn. You can make it into redstone, which is great. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. Make a couple of those. I'm going to get rid of that. 
and then I think I'm just going to go ahead and try to build a support beam structure. The hope being that oh, um, <coughs> that I can avoid further collapses. Okay, Whew. or at least minimize them. So I was actually up a level up here. And it collapsed down here, so I figured, oh, I better go down here and build um, something that will prevent it from collapsing. I also should tell you that I went caving in the um, area on the sou southern part of the island down here. <clears throat> um, it was connected to that cave that... Oh, I wish I could show you the the actual map, but there's a cave, you know, that opens up that we've explored a little bit previously on this playthrough. And I went down there and I followed it all the way down here and I found a huge source of galena, some medium copper, some hematite, um, but and, and some limonite in the cave. But this is great. This cinnabar and the, these rich hematite and uh, copper sources are great. So let's see here. And why didn't you finish falling? I don't know. Okay, I'm just trying to get a place for the ladder. Now, theoretically, this should prevent cave-ins, but one thing... Oh yeah, and I'm like dying of thirst and whatnot too, which is great. But I'm just going to try to harvest up a bunch of this because this will serve me well for a long time. Um, ooh, yeah. Um, let's see if I can get away with this. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right. Um, what was, oh, oh, jeez. I think I was just saying that, um, So, cinnabar is redstone, which means that it's extremely useful, and also I can use it for the deco mod, I think, to make red mod modeling clay or whatever it's called. But I'm just going to harvest up a bunch of this, then I'm going to go show you the hematite and the copper if I can find it again. It's kind of a large cave and I'm a little bit worried that I might have gotten lost. But this was a really good deposit of cinnabar. It's humongous. And it goes up quite a ways, and clearly it goes down to some extent as well. I'm actually very, very pleased with this. Whatever. I just hope I don't I don't kill myself. I can only carry sixteen. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna Oh, uh, there's I'm so gonna cause a collapse to happen at some point. And I might die, so just keep keep that in mind. I'm just so greedy for these ores. Hmm, like a dwarf. Don't collapse. I'm so nervous about a collapse. Okay, I think we've gotten to a point where I can justifiably go back up here. I'd like to get eight more if I can. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. See, that's what I'm talking about right there. I just hope that when that happens, it's not destroying too much of the ore. Because, you know, if it collapses and hits the ore, it kills the ore. Now, the nice thing about cave-ins in areas like this is that you can see it on the floor, and so you can kind of mine it off the floor in a relatively safe fashion. Because the only thing that happens when you mine the floor is arguably um, it could cause a collapse somewhere beneath you or whatever. Anyway, I'm going to go off camera, and then I'm going to bring you back in for when I find the native copper and the hematite. Okay, and we're on the verge of um, being dehydrated here, but I went back and I found this hematite source 
wanted to show you that real quick and then I'm definitely um, springing for the surface but as you can see it's rich hematite fairly close actually to the main entryway to this cave system uh, and you can go this way too but mainly it's down there and then actually there's more cinnabar traces at the end of that and then let me I think I can just show you on the way out here hopefully I don't get uh, into a situation where I can't figure it out um, but I'm looking for my copper I think it's this way yes okay and rich copper see so I really shouldn't risk any significant mining right now but I really wouldn't mind some of that copper but anyway I'll, I'll join you back when I get back to the surface um, yeah, it's this way, I think. But there was quite a bit of the copper. Yeah, here's a lot more of it, as you can see. And so I will definitely be coming here to mine. This is a very close source of rich copper for me. But anyway, I'll pick it back up when we uh, get back to the surface and whatnot. Okay, and I am back at the surface. Uh, my saltpeter mine is right there, so I just walked over here. Um, now, I wanted to show you a couple things that I've been working on a little bit off camera as well. Um, kind of in the middle or between episodes or in the middle of this episode, I'm not really sure. Uh, depends on how I organize the episodes when I get online or when I process them. So I got these piggies here, and I definitely need to start familiarizing myself with them. Pigs apparently breed at a remarkable rate, and so and then I got my horses from over there. Oh, there's is that a pig up there? I think that's a pig up there. I should go grab him. Oh, out, you bastard! I am out of food, so I'm like literally running on just water right now, which is actually um, a viable thing to do sometimes because. You won't die if you have water. You will die if you, um, if you, um, well, I'm sorry. You will die if you don't have water, but you will not die if you merely are starving. You will simply not gain health benefits and things like that, and you can't sprint. Or no, I think you can sprint. I think if you have water, you can still sprint. Oh, hey. Oh, okay, you just made me hit my pig, and I'm... That was not cool, buddy. Not cool. Ugh, zombies. Come on. Okay. You know what? Come on, Mr. Pig. Just get in here. Good. Good boy. Okay. Hit him. Nice. Okay. No, 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 no. Get in there. Okay, Mr. Skeleton, you are going to die. Oh, and it's snowing. I love the snow. Ha, huh, caught myself a zombie. Anyway, um, ow. So I've got my two horses and my three little pigs now. So hopefully they will become familiar with daddy here and that'll be good. Where did the land over there go? I guess it, the, oh, wow, the visibility really goes down there. Um, I need to figure out how to harvest ice, by the way. Does anybody know? Because I want it for my, my freezer, but you know, I have no idea how to, how to get it. Like I, I've tried breaking it with my hands, with tools. I just don't know. Is there a way to harvest ice in this game? Do I need a bucket? Do I need to isolate it? I'd like it for my fr my freezer thing. Anyway, cows. So I've got all the animals now, all the domestic animals except for chickens, uh, which would take a little bit more work to get, to be honest with you. So we're making good progress, and um, you know I got to tell you, I'm a little discombobulated right now because um, I started recording like a few days in real life ago and I stopped and right now I cannot remember for the life of me how much I did beforehand or whether this is a fresh 
brand new episode. <laughs> and as such, I'm extremely uh, hesitant to end it without doing something more substantive. Because otherwise it's going to be like a seven minute episode where you saw me get a semi-decent amount of Cinnabar. I guess I'll go ahead and store the Cinnabar. Oh, I, I got rid of my... Um, Cinnabar storage, didn't I? Or my ore storage. Oh, and I got this uh, chipped amethyst. I guess I'll put that up. I don't know. How about here? Oh, I might as well stop starving. You know, the nice thing about this weather is um, it really preserves food pretty well, so. Okay, nice to not be starving again. Um, might as well harvest some snow. Yeah, the thing about these wooden bridges, they're great for harvesting snow. Because you don't have to worry about breaking it with your shovel like you do with the dirt. Alright, I love this snow though. By the way, just so you know, January 5th. So, the nice thing about snow also is that it stores pretty well, and it doesn't melt at all until you start using it for your icebox. So, it's really handy. It's really easy to work with. Also, it's, you know, technically it's a block. It's uh, almost kind of cheaty. It doesn't, it doesn't melt, and it ignores gravity, and it's really easy to work with and break and stuff, and actually very easy to create like a lot easier than wool blocks in Minecraft are you just to deal with sheep so you know I would say that it's actually an extremely powerful block you know it reminds me of um, when people play um, skyblock and they want to like mix it up because in skyblock all you get is oh what is it oak wood and um, um, you know obviously cobblestone from your cobblestone generator so people are like, oh, let's let's add some snow blocks to make this look, you know, fun. And they do. And then, um, I mean, that's one of your only options in Skyblock, really. All right. That's funny that snowballs will not store in stacks of more than 16. But snow blocks, which are four snowballs will and I'm not even sure how many they'll let you store those in so let's take a look at this and then I'm gonna go show you what I'm working on for my permafrost wow you can store a lot of snow in a single stack I'd like to get a full stack of snow blocks. That'll help so much with the uh, freezer. Anyway, um, so before I got distracted, whoops, with my salt. Ooh, do I have any of these? The winter green, you never know when it's going to be ready. Um, or is it the elderberry? No. Early autumn, I guess. Okay, well, whatever. I thought one of them actually blossomed or was harvestable in the uh, spring. And yeah, whatever. All right, one more. Okay, so that'll do it for my full blocks. Now, you got to be careful with the snow, by the way, because it does massacre your uh, durability on your shovel. So, Okay, so let's grab our dirt. And I wanted to show you this because it's kind of cool. I'll also grab this because I know I've got these in here. Okay. So what I was doing basically is this. So I take these and I'm making a little shell that sticks out into the ocean. Now this is a potentially permanent solution to my farming situation. But I tried to make these two plots roughly the same size. 
you know, give or take. Plenty of dirt on them, all accessible to the water. Ooh, ice. That's neat. Why is it white and not blue? I don't know. But I like it. So we got that. And let's just do this. Now, what I'm doing, basically... What if I wait for it to freeze all on all the sides? Nope. Okay. I'm going to have to look that up, how to harvest ice. But if anybody wants to comment, feel free. Um, basically, though, what I'm doing is I'm creating a field here for planting that is large and not going to sink in the ocean as it would if I put it out like on these steps, unlike regular Minecraft where it would not. The dirt has the gravity effect similar to like a vanilla sand block, and so you got to watch out for that. Okay, let's do it. I'm going to do a third one. Um, let me just do it here. That's fine. It's kind of cool, actually. And for some reason, unlike logs, planks, you can actually do the shift, walk to the edge and do this, just like vanilla Minecraft. Um, whereas with logs, you cannot do that, apparently, in, in this mod. Okay, so... Uh, I'm going to need quite a bit more sycamore, it looks like. But, oh, that one's probably too big. Um, yeah, whatever, I'll just make it skinnier. So the goal, you know, the thing with these, um, dirt patches is that they actually are not good, um, until, like, a year after you put them down. Because the game doesn't like it when you artificially create farmland it wants you to use farmland that's you know soil uh, nutrient rich soil that's already there rather than create your own like artificial farms like I'm doing and so for that reason it's kind of like um, it uh, punishes you or makes you um oh wait sorry it makes you basically use the land that's there unless you're like really prepared to get really into the agriculture. All right. Gonna need more than that. Where's my, oh, here it is, okay. So we're just gonna do um, some landscaping and finish up this episode and then we'll have three farms ready to go hopefully the i'm not sure if the nutrients will be there because it, it's like a slow over time gradual thing but if the nutrients are there in time for planting season then i'll just use these if not i'll have to use the river again <coughs> but think about it it basically recuperates at the same rate as soil that used up a certain nutrient because of the particular type of crop you planted. So, yeah, because that's pretty big. It's similar to, um, like, if I planted grain, that's nutrient A, and it would deplete nutrient A, and then you'd want to normally plant, like, a nutrient B or a nutrient C crop to give the nutrient A time to recover, which happens slowly over time. Yeah, I'm not going to... I doubt I have enough right now either. I made this one way too big, I've determined. <laughs> um, but I still want to do this. I still think that this needs to be done either way to get my farming where I'd like it to be. And I think I'll use this to finish up the episode. I do want to show you what I'm talking about though before I do finish. Sure is nice to not be starving anymore. I 
All right, let's just let's just stop stop fucking around here. Oops. All right, saw so where are you? Um, every now and then, sometimes off camera, I'll make another tool. By the way, just like my shovel was new, I think, relatively this episode. My prop, my pro pick, I had to replace once already. I don't remember if I showed you that or not, but I've just been doing that periodically. Now that I have a forge, I've been doing it more and more with the forge. I definitely want to find another solution for my um, fruit trees and... Um, here, I'll tell you what. For my fruit trees and for my um, um, bushes, I'm very dissatisfied with having them haphazardly laying about. Okay. That'll at least make it feel more consistent in size with the others, even if it's still technically bigger. Hate to kill all this seaweed too, but it must be done. So I overshot it on the planks a little bit there, but that's okay. I never have too many planks, I'll just use them on the house. That's what I've been using Sycamore for anyway for quite some time. Okay, so he's dead, and we've got our little pool, so let's go ahead and fill her in with dirt. If I want to be fun, I could just do that. Let gravity do some of the work for me. It's kind of cool. I love that. Okay. Oops. <laughs> I don't know if it matters whether a field is plowed for purposes of how fast it takes the nutrients to go into the soil. Like, I wonder if it's better to plow them or not plow them. Okay. And we've got pretty good plots here. Now, I could do little things like expand this into the sand a little bit here. Um, you, you just want to make sure they're close enough to the water at all times. This one feels small now. Maybe I'll expand that one. By the way, I got a bronze javelin from one of our wither buddies. I'm going to take that out. Okay, so let me show you what I mean. Now, I'll just do a stone hoe. Can I look at... I uh, better get the... I'll get the um, metal one. Okay. So we're going to grab our metal. Oh, I hate how um, one bad thing about having the crafting table with you at all times, like in this game, is that um, it, unfortunately, um, you can't shift things as conveniently in, in and out of your inventory. Okay, so I've got my hoe, and I've got it in nutrient mode. Now you can see these are like where I've been planting stuff, and you can see which nutrient was affected by the most recent crop that grew there. Now, if I go over to here, let's har let's just do this for comparison's sake. So this one is the one I just planted, and it appears to be full of nutrients. That can't be right. Whoa. Ugh. I think I was in the mine too long. I think maybe my spawn protection decreased or something, or I have no idea, but... Okay, so... Let me try this again. I am very skeptical of these readings. 
uh, I don't know why it would purport to have all of them in good shape like that. Or is it? Um, maybe it's height wise. Is it height? Oh yeah, it's height. It's not length. It's height. See that? Okay. So that see those those heights. They're pretty. You know, the nutrient B is fairly depleted in these ones here, right? Uh, here, nutrient A is depleted. See that? Height. Okay. So now that I see that that makes a lot of sense these are all really low see that there's n there's no nutrients at all in this soil here so I will be checking that as spring approaches you can see maybe the glimmer of some coming in this this one here because it's been there the longest but I think I'll go ahead and plow these fields so they can why not So that's basically my goal is to wait for these nutrients to populate in these fields and then use these as my crop rotation fields. Like during year one, this can be nutrient A fields. During year two, you know, nutrient A can move over here and so forth. I'll just do a little rotational cycle like that. Oh, by the way, let me wait. Why don't these have water? Is it because of the wood? Do I have to... Is that better? I have no idea why these wouldn't have water. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's the temperature. I don't know. And frankly, I'm pretty sure they do have water. So I'm just going to go with it. But if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. I might have to... Maybe it's because um, there's wood underneath. Is that a problem? Do I have to g really go through and put dirt underneath all of them? That would suck. Except for these on the edge have dirt under them, not wood. So you would think that they would... Well, whatever. I don't know, guys. I am worried, but I guess we'll figure it out. Anyway, I'm going to finish plowing this field, and we'll call it an episode. So if you've been watching, thank you. Just remember, Professor Snuggles is looking out for you. And we will see you next time on Terra Firmacraft. Hopefully our fields are not dry. Maybe you have to have nutrients in them for the water to register. Let me just check something out real quick before I finish. So that's black, right? These have water. Why do these have... Is it because it's salt versus fresh water? No, I doubt it. What if I go over here and try one of these? Is this going to have water? That does not have water either. Is it because it's cold out? Or is it because of the salt water? Let me find somewhere that has fresh water over here. I, it might be the temperature, you know. Water doesn't flow when it's um, freezing, you know. I'd like to find a single freshwater source on the coast here that I can test this out with, though. Not there. Well, I guess I'll try this. That definitely does. Is it? It's the freshwater, isn't it? Well, damn. That sucks. Why couldn't I use salt water? I'm pretty sure you could in the past. I will have to look that up. But I will figure it out, and those might be completely wasted. We might have to wait until we can convey water with buckets, which is going to be a while until we can use these fields. So, I don't know. You'd think, uh, you'd think it, uh, whatever. Okay, guys, I will, finally, I'm, I'm going to legit end, oh, did I throw my, yeah. Legit end it here, so it was good to hang out. We'll see you next time on Terra Firmacraft.